Let's look at this thread on Ozempic, which is the new, as they're saying, miracle drug that's going to help people lose weight. Now, before we get into that, if you want to lose weight, stop eating processed food, stop eating seed oils, and cut your carbs to under 50 grams a day. If you did that, and then you ate protein and fat with the remainder of your calories, you wouldn't need this stuff. Now, I know it's hard. I know there's a lot of temptation around you. I know your friends, family probably eat crap. <sighs> but if there's a will, there's a way. Okay? So... This has 10,000 plus Americans who've suffered from obesity and type 2 diabetes, and they have studied the effects of these GLP-1 drugs. Let's look at what they say. Manufacturers promote 20% rate lo weight loss, but the real world effectiveness is more around 10%. <laughs> that, imagine if you're 100 pounds overweight, and they say this miracle drug is going to change your life, and you only lose 10 pounds. It's also important to ask, since the same GLP-1s have been approved, uh, for use to people living with type 2 diabetes, why haven't they solved obesity or possibly type 2 diabetes in the last 18 years? We have more people with type 2 diabetes than ever before, and the average outcomes are no better than a decade or two ago. Secondly, an alarmingly high percentage of the weight loss is lean body mass. That means you're losing muscle more than fat. Your body likes to hold on to fat because it's a survival mechanism. Muscle is calorically expensive. So in the wild, mus muscle wouldn't have been prioritized if you had calorie restriction. And there's a lot, you know, there's a lot to that. I won't get into that. But as it says here, it is not uncommon that 60 to 70% of weight loss is muscle. So you might lose 40 pounds, but 25 is actually lean body mass. 25 is something you don't want to lose because muscle is basically your protection against everything. And it also increases metabolism, increases calorie burning, et cetera. So you make, you're more likely to regain weight and deteriorate overall health. Losing lean body mass is an issue for everyone. Nobody wants to do it, especially older patients where building muscle is extremely freaking hard. So, I mean... Maybe this can help people and then they can also change their diet and change their lifestyle habits. In fact, I bet you those that get the best results are doing that. They are controlling what they're eating. They're, they're trying to not eat seed oils and sugar and like they're going low carb or whatever. But people that think they can just do the same shit they've been doing for years that got them to this point and then take some miracle drug, quote unquote miracle drug, that is a lie and it's being sold and people are buying it. And that's not even to mention the side effects of this stuff which we don't really, I mean, I guess there's some long-term studies, but, you know, with newer drugs, like they have versions of it and it goes through trials or whatever. I don't think there's solid long-term research on what the effects with this drug are going to be.